Hey guys, welcome to another quick lesson in the Bluehost and WordPress course. Today I want to talk about my personal website, videoschoolonline.com, and kind of show you around it and just show you all the features that you can do uh, with a Bluehost account and a cu customizable WordPress account. Um, so here you're looking at my website, videoschoolonline.com. I chose a theme, Avada, which we'll talk about in a future lesson, picking a theme, which is basically the look and feel of your, your site. Um, the theme kind of controls how, what type of fonts you use, where the menus are, what the buttons look like, what happens when you click those buttons, um, and that sort of thing. But here, this is my home page. I try to keep it plain and simple and you know I'm not the best website designer but for someone that you know has never taken a web design class who has figured it out out on my own um, through watching tutorials online and reading forums I think I did, I've done a pretty good job with it I have this slider up top which was an option that came with the theme which is also available um, with different plugins and that's another great thing about WordPress org sites uh, is that you can download a ton of free plugins and you can purchase plugins that you know for anything from this type of slider um, special ways to embed video um, adding you know your social media adding maps to your site anything you can think of that you would want in your website uh, you can find a plugin for it so I have you know my custom logo up top my my menus, my menu up here. Here's the body of my home page where I have, you know, this custom customized button that kind of came with the Avada theme as well. Multiple columns uh, where I can have, you know, the latest from the blog. A little, you know, button for where I host for people that want more information about Bluehost. Um, then down here, I got these cool buttons for all sorts of things related to my site like my YouTube channel, my online courses, my podcasts, and my ebooks. And then down here at the bottom um, is the footer where I customized it to have a subscription um, widget down here, another plugin for a there's a plugin for an e starting an email list. Uh, there's latest blog posts, recent tweets, liking us on Facebook, and all sorts of things. Um, so there's different styles of pages. So for example, this is uh, my about page and this is kind of a standard um, page it kind of looks similar to a blog with this sidebar over here on the right side so on the right side this is called the sidebar and this is something that shows up on every page that has the same formatting so every page will have this subscri subscribe now button it will have this like us on Facebook button it will have the recent posts and I'll have a few ads over here on the right side as well. And then over here on the left is the main content of my about page where you know you can see all the different styles of, of text and font. So you have these head headers up here, you know your paragraph text, uh, you have different options for bullet points up here. And then down here I have like a checklist, more like a checklist. And you can add photos, of course, and then there's even a comment or a contact form uh, option in this theme and in most themes as well. The courses uh, and videos page, this actually links out to my other pages. So courses will take you to my Udemy page with all of my Udemy courses. And there you can you know, go straight to um, my, signing up for any of my courses online. And I did that. I, at first, I was creating on Video School Online, I was creating separate pages for each of my classes, but I figured it was easier to just link this courses button out to the Udemy page, which already has all of you know, my courses set up. And whenever I add a new course, it automatically adds it to the list as well. Videos links out to my YouTube page. And as you can see here, I have you know, my Video School Online YouTube channel which I follow the uh, Pat Flynn model of being everywhere. So I have you know, my YouTube, my online courses, my podcasts, my eBooks, in hopes that I get a, a large audience that way. You know, I have eBooks, 
um, that I'm writing, currently writing and will be coming out with. So I have a page describing that. And then let's look at the blog. The podcast looks similar to this page. Uh, again, you know, you have your sidebar over here on the right side. And then the blog page has all the latest blog posts that I do, you know, which I do weekly blog posts with tips and tutorials about video making. So you should check it out. So we'll go to the latest, April 29th, 2013, this beer-themed lower thirds post that I did. And this is what a standard blog looks like of mine. So again, different font choices. I can add videos straight from YouTube into my blog, which I've done there uh, with tutorials about how to create a beer-themed lower third. And I also have some videos related to my classes uh, that teach how to create lower thirds in After Effects. On the blog, you know, it shows the related blog post down here. And it has this, you know, kind of cool movement when you go, you highlight over, hover over these links. You can post comments down below. You can share it on any of your favorite platforms, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, Reddit, Tumblr, Google+. You can email it, and there were more options, so I could have chosen to have more options available for people to share my blog posts that way. And so this is basically a professional website. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. Um, I could add as many pages as I want, um, add as many links up here as I want, you know, customize this menu, customize all the images and the fonts, and it's a really great way to create a website. So I just wanted to show you this my website, videoschoolonline.com, to get you kind of excited for using Bluehost and for creating a website using WordPress because it's a, a great tool. And like I said, I think earlier, I think something like 15% of websites now are built using WordPress. So that's crazy. Almost like one in six uh, websites are built on WordPress and they all look completely different. You know, you, you used to think that WordPress was just for blogs, but now it's a complete website builder for whatever type of website you want, whether whether it's a blog or it's an online school or it's uh, you know a site about uh, your favorite movie, you know a fan site, a forum site. Um, if you're trying to sell things, you can build an e-commerce site. You know anything you could think of, you can create with WordPress and host it on Bluehost. So I hope you've enjoyed this lesson and you know enjoyed going over my website as it stands today. And I will see you in the next lessons as we get to, to learning about you know more about how you actually sign up for an account, how you start building with WordPress, and how you ultimately make a great website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next lesson. Have a great day. Bye.